We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. What happens when seeing is no longer believing? When public figures are recorded saying and doing things that they never said or did. Advances in machine learning and AI have now made it possible to swap someone else's face and voice into a video and make it look like they did or said something, anything you want. And this has lawmakers worried. 99% of the American population doesn't know what it is. These videos and photos are called deep fakes, and they're getting more sophisticated by the day. In April 2018, BuzzFeed created a video that appeared to show former President Obama warning against fake news and trashing President Trump. See, I would never say these things, at least not in a public address. It went viral and introduced deep fakes into the mainstream. But the person featured in that video was actually comedian and filmmaker Jordan Peele, and the video made that clear serving as a public service announcement about deepfakes and how they could become ubiquitous in the future. The technology harnesses machine learning techniques, feeding a computer real data about images so it can create the fake. So the first process is, of course, getting, getting the data and we feed that data to our algorithm. Now, the only information that we have for our algorithm is the sequences of the frame from each Barack Obama and Donald Trump or John Oliver and Stephen Colbert. Our algorithm uses both spatial and temporal information to learn a mapping from one person to another person. Ayush Bunsel and his colleagues at Carnegie Mellon's Robotics Institute are working on algorithms that can essentially retarget the style of one video to the content of another. Things like being able to synthesize a sunrise video based on data gathered from the video of a sunset. He says these methods have applications beyond deepfakes and can be used to improve computer vision technology for self-driving cars, virtual reality, and robotics. Elsewhere, at the University of Washington, researchers have been able to synthesize lip sync videos based on audio clips. I visited with the families of many of the victims on Thursday. Experts say that although it may be easy to create a deep fake, it's actually very hard to create a flawless one. But as Will Knight, MIT Technology Review's senior editor for artificial intelligence says, it will get easier and easier. Besides, you might not need something very sophisticated to do real harm. It's easy to see how people could use deepfakes to spread misinformation about politics or anything else, holding up the faked videos as supposedly incontrovertible evidence. Perhaps worse, over time, as deepfakes become more common, people might stop believing legitimate videos. The implications are serious, and there are no laws that currently govern the technology. In September 2018, three U.S. lawmakers sent a letter to the Director of National Intelligence urging him to look into the issue and come up with recommendations about whether the intelligence community requires additional legal authorities or financial resources to address the threat posed. The only way which comes to my mind to counter the problem of these fakes is to have machine learning models that can just say that this is a real or this is a generated image. Researchers, startups, and even the government are already working on tools that can suss out deep fakes. The U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency or DARPA, is running a program called Media Forensics, which has turned its focus lately to identifying artificial intelligence-powered manipulations. Combating deepfakes will likely require a mix of several approaches. But as with any plan to fight emerging technology, once a method is rolled out, the deepfake creators might just find a way around it. And the fight against fake will continue on. As Will Knight puts it, it is also troubling how technology is eroding the very concept of ground truth. This is something that could have profound political consequences. I find it very disturbing. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.